to mask or not to mask. It's going to become a super common thing that you see. The CDC is reconsidering the original idea of only wearing a mask if you are sick or caring for someone who is now that the agency is reporting one in four people who are infected show no signs of actually having the virus. They don't know they're sick, but they're going out and they're giving it to others. If we can cover their nose, cover their mouth with a mask, then we're going to diminish the chance that they're going to cough droplets into the air and you know, diminish the chance of spreading infection. But doctors warn while covering your face could potentially help stop the spread, studies are inconclusive about how much it protects you from actually catching the virus. But wearing a mask improperly can actually increase your risk of getting disease. It can also give you a false sense of security. I see a lot of people wearing masks like this, and that's not going to help. So it has to be all the way up here. And then you also want to be squeezing the top of the nose piece here to create that seal on the top. So let's say the CDC recommends masks be worn out in public. The typical masks that we use in the clinics are, are the simple surgical masks, and these also provide significant protection. Doctors say your other option is a homemade mask. If all you have access to is a homemade mask, that's going to be better than nothing. It's no secret healthcare workers are facing a mask shortage right now. Should people be running out right now and going and get masks? Until this is recommended by the CDC, no. Hold off for a second, let's see what their recommendations are, and let's not create another toilet paper issue again. In Minneapolis, Devon Roming, CARE 11 News. State officials address this today as well. They say, well, wearing cloth masks may be helpful for everyone down the road. Their priority, is, of course, is making sure that masks could be available in certain health care settings. For example, congregate care like nursing homes and jails and for others where social distancing may be challenging like transit drivers. They suggest if you're looking for places to donate cloth masks, you should start locally in your own neighborhood.